I don't know. It, it, it felt kind of gross. Gross? It's gross to think my uncle or your cousin or all our family members are in the military. <sighs> Gotta be honest, feels a little grosser that you're trying to vilify all of them. <sighs> he plays Hobby, the mysterious James Dean-like character in the show called Grownish. His name is Henry Esteve. And Henry, nice to see you. Uh, I, I think if you were going to be called a, a James Dean character, that's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, no, I'm not mad at it. I don't complain when I <laughs> And you get to play uh, a Cuban American or a Cuban of some of sorts, which is kind of near and dear because you are one, right? You're Cuban. I am. I am, and it's my it's the first time I've gotten to play a Latino who's actually Cuban. How about that? And so, tell me a little bit about the personality of Javi and and how you relate to him. I mean, I think Javi and I grew up in, in a similar way, right? Um, he's also from Miami. I was born and raised in Miami. Um, you know, and the the aspect of being a first-generation Cuban-American, it's something that I understand really well and I think has influenced him a lot. Uh, there's, you know, we definitely have our differences. I think I'm much more of a hothead than Javi is. Uh, <laughs> he's better at handling his emotions. Um, he leans a little right politically, I, I don't. Uh, you know, we have our, our differences, but I do, I understand, I grew up with Javi. You know, there was a yeah. bunch of Javis around me growing up. So Javi, so Javi, I'm sure has an opinion on about what's going on in Cuba right now. What's your feeling about what's happening there and how that's changing the way people perceive uh, your parents' homeland? I mean, I... It's your mom, right? Your mom is from Cuba, right? Yeah, I've been really involved in uh, protests and demonstrations over the last, well, since the 11th. Um, and I think for me, the biggest thing is just trying to amplify the voice of the people in Cuba. You know, we, I happen to have freedom of speech because my grandmother and my mother ran away from the island and fled to Miami. And like, I have the ability to voice how I feel and, um, Unfortunately, the people on the island don't, and they're being starved and beaten, and murdered and silenced. And I kind of think it's just our responsibility, my responsibility to use my voice to try to amplify theirs. And you're not only that, but you're amplifying the, the Latino culture, which is, of course, something that seems to be rising uh, across the country. I mean, you see Latino newscasters now more often. Uh, I was an original new Latino newscaster in Los Angeles back in the uh, the early 80s and 90s. And so when you I think, think TV, about right? Yeah, yeah. And so, so all of that, you know, it's 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 nice to see that characters are being interwoven now into a, a into a show that's multicultural. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, and there's episodes where where we really talk about Latino culture and Cuban culture specifically, and I think that is um, is new and, and nice to see, and I think it, it helps, mm -hmm. you know, the younger Cuban community turn into storytellers and see themselves on screen, which is just important. It's a big cast. There's a lot of people and uh, really talented people on, in the cast. So trying to keep the storyline straight, it's it's really fun to watch them weave this in Gronish. Tell me about uh, it's 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 seen on Freeform, but it's also now being added to other networks and, and things like that. Tell me about the success of this and why you think it's resonating with the audience. Well, I think free, I think Gronish, the writers do a, a really great job of. Um, having a really light-handed approach to heavy-handed material, you know, and uh, well put. We, talk, yeah. <laughs> we talk about really heavy stuff, and um, and I, I think that's part of the reason, the the reason why people are resonating so well with it. Also, you know, it. Uh, I, I definitely get a lot of DMs from people like explaining to me how similar their college experience has been, their introduction to new cultures in college, and how much we show that on the show. Yeah, and you know, you've got, I mean, your chops, you you went to, you know, the Lee Strasberg School, you went to New York, you you studied all the, the great, the, you know, the great techniques and all that, and you even worked with Julia Roberts. So, I mean, your career is on its way up and you're moving into areas now that I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, when am I gonna get an Oscar or an Emmy or something that's, you know, really <laughs> says, all right, all right, mom and dad, I did it, you know? I just want one like you, man. <laughs> You just gotta be viejito, old, you know, like me. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, listen, I, uh, where can we see Grownish? Uh, it is on Freeform Thursdays at 8 and on Hulu on Friday. Fantastic, Will. Henry Esteve, it's good to, good to meet you, good to talk to you, and best of luck to you. Thank you. Same. Thank you so much for having me, man.